Hello Double GDP and welcome to my update for the sprint ending April 12, 2022. For this sprint, my main focus was um, to add the ability to via task lists um, in our application. Um, this is now visible um, as a submenu item within our community. So to navigate, um, you open our side, uh, side nav, then under community, you still have the previously existing task submenu, but now you see we have a collapsible um, icon here. And when you open, we have the pre-existing tasks which are now visible under this submenu and this new uh, menu item called task list that we've added. Um, so a task list is, is just um, a list of tasks that are related to a particular process. Uh, for example, I, a good use case of this would be, let's say, um, a city wants uh, a way for its users to access um, or to create a predefined list of steps that are needed to, let's say, get a permit. Uh, usually permits have very uh, specific steps that need to be followed for you to get uh, to complete that uh, process. So, for example, you could have the first step as we make a copy of your identification documents, then you make a payment, then you submit the invoice to a certain department, and then maybe you wait uh, for the permit. So those lists, um, those list of steps will, are what will be defined as a task list. So um, when I open a task list, um, I should get the name um, of that task list and then the list of um, steps or sub-steps um, beneath it um, that define uh, the order of items of the number of steps that I need uh, to complete that process. Um, so this ticket was addressing the ability to view a task list. And in this case, we had uh, this task list existing, only that we created it um, from the back end, uh, but in in a different um, tickets, uh, we'll have the ability to create this task list right from the UI, and you can also uh, be able to edit in addition to viewing it. Um, that's it for me this sprint. See you next time.